I know, but this is what I see, child, when I look upon you, Tanamosota. I see so Nanamaya. This is what I see, child. When I look upon you, this is what I see. I see the soul by sudden kula cha. I poso kuna na sandrio hola satadobo sadani under ko. You are the rabo with sandrio kola cha and masandraga. Ala robo munda. No other child have come Sanariyashanda in your time, child. In your time, child, no other has spoke Sanariyashanda. Not in this manner, child. Not in this manner. I I see so tolerable and You both say Titiya Kalamohoya. Ah, and I do not want you to think yourself more highly than others, child. That is not what I would want you to do, child. Yet, you are higher than others, child. Do you understand what I am saying? Child, you have both seemed to be yes, that. No other in your time, child. In your time has done, child. Okay? And this is not for you, child. Again, I say this is not for you, child. To think yourself more highly than others. Yet, scribe of God, you are higher than others. I was in kunda chow when I look upon you. I I see kunda mm -hmm. These things. I will up to Sandra Kola. My Sandra Kola in the Diosa. Oh, my Sandra Kola. Okay. Child, I must be careful with you, child. I must be careful with you, child. I do not want to destroy you, child, with all that I have, for I know that I must but give you a measure, child, for every man has been given a measure of faith, child. <laughs> 
only a measure shall that which can satisfy all that they need shall. <laughs> to every man is given a measure of faith, child. I so called to allow me, child. To say this to you, scribe of God, my very own, in this time, child, for you are not the first child, but in this time, hmm. Hmm. you, child, will be one of the a kind. <laughs> you will be as you already are, child. One of a kind. That I will use my tilly child to speak into the ears of the hero. Not every man's child will receive mm -hmm. the words that come from you for I am God and I know these things. Child, now be mindful, child, again, that you Young females, scribe or not, to think yourself <laughs> ah, more highly than others. Yet, child, you are higher than. You will speak many words, child, to the ears of the hearer as you do at this very moment, child. And there will be some who will hear, mm -hmm. and there will be some that will not hear, child. Ah, for sat oh, ah, secunda, child, you. Mm -hmm. Ah, as those of old, child, child will be laughed to scorn. Oh, Shanda, you will be criticized, child. Mm -hmm. No, these things, child. Ah, no, these things, child. And understand, child, that these things must happen. Mm -hmm. But mankind must hear, child. For I am a loving God. Mm. And it is my desire, child, to give warnings unto mankind that he will repent and return unto me, child. 
it is written in your books that it is not my desire that any man should perish. Child. That is not my desire, and I wrote it in the book so that you, mankind, will know my heart, and yet you do not know. Ha, God, I do not quite understand, child. How can one leave words for another and you read the words and not still hear them, child? I am a loving God, child. But I will not Strive with man forever. My spirit. She will not strive with man forever. I shall make no mistakes with the words that I say to you, child. For I am the husband man. Ah, uh, Sanda. Ah, my spirit will not always strive with man, child. Ah, child, for it is such a struggle. For mankind to yield. Ah, that is why I say that you are a stiff necked people. You will not yield. <laughs> But, scribe of God, <laughs> all knees will bow to me. It is written in your books already, child. And mankind have read those words. And Still do that every knee shall bow, child. <laughs> it will not be their will to bow, <laughs> but they shall bow. Mm -hmm. I am God and I lie not to you, scribe of God. And these words are to be written in the book, child, that mankind will know after I have retrieved the bride. Ah, that there will be an absence of my spirit. For when I retrieve my bride, my spirit will come back to me. <laughs> Ah. I have spoken many words into the ears of mankind and they will not 
receive from me, child. I am a loving, merciful, long-suffering, tender God. But my spirit will not strive with mankind forever. And though you say these words, child, and to the ears of the hearers, child, they will not hear you, child. They will not hear you. You will be as sounding brass to them. <laughs> They will mock you, child. Mm -hmm. And these things, child, must happen. But I am with you, child. That I know that you know, child. I am your strength and I will be your eyes, child. There will be not one thing that I will not tell you, my scribe. For these things must be written in the book, child. One can only write what? One knows and or have been told. <laughs> it will be I who will tell you, child. And you will write. I so called totable son and our child. My words will come easy. To you, child, there will be no struggles. I will continue, child, to speak into your ears that you may write. Ah, the words that I speak unto you, child, and declare them in your land. For there is a stiff-necked people that walketh your land, and they will not hear me. But I am a loving, loving God, <laughs> and no man understands the long suffering that I have toward them. No man understands it. <laughs> but my love is tangible, child. For this time, for this time, child, I will speak many words, ha, into your ears, for this time, child, for the time coming when I will be silent. I will have no more words for mankind. 
for child, the words that I speak into your ears now, child, are to be written in the book for those to read who will be left behind, child. Mm. For they will desire to know, child, as I have said to you. When I retrieve my bride, they will desire to know where are those who once was, but is no more. (laughs) They will desire to know what is happening in their land. These words, child, I will give to you, my scribe, and you will write. And child, all the words you will write. There will be no Asoka Tarabohunda in the land, child. Mm-mm. It will be struggles. No peace. There will be, child, no peace in the land. I will have the bride. My spirit will return unto me. (laughs) And there will be no peace. There will be trouble (laughs) upon the land. Mankind will die. For you see, child, they have been left behind in their time of endurance for me has passed, child. So now they must endure until their death, child. (laughs) Ah. Do you understand what I am saying to you, my scribe? So you must write these words, child. I will retrieve the bride. My spirit will return to me, child. And there will be no peace in the land, child. I need you to write that down for the millions of people that will be left in your land, child, to endure until their death, child, for you see, the bride It's gone. (laughs) They will need to understand that for when they look for those who once was and is no more, they will begin to panic. (laughs) For the bride child will be gone. The loved ones, child, make it plain in your writing. The loved ones, those who live their lives unto me, God Almighty. (laughs) Those who strive for excellence in the Savior, Jesus Christ, my Son. My only, my only 
my only begotten son child. My only, my only child. <laughs> child, there will be much trouble in your land after the bride is gone child but she must know that the bride must stand their ground for I will retrieve her before the great tribulation child before the great tribulation I will retrieve her that child is what mankind must understand no man knoweth the day or the hour child for they will twist your words, child. Mankind <laughs> is wicked, child. And I know already that they will hear your words and declare that you have said a thing, but I speak into the ears of the hearer and to my bride that I will retrieve you before the great tribulation <laughs> endure until <laughs> for you will not see death Ah, so cool that a baba bo sindi a so that you will not. Ooh, ooh, oh, you will not see death. Ah, my so cool that a my child, let there be an understanding. Let there be an understanding child <laughs> my love for you cannot be expressed simply through words child <laughs> and mankind Do not receive my love. But I am a loving God. And I do not lie, nor will I repent for the things that will begin to happen in your land scribe of God my scribe child and they will begin to know that you are my scribe I have chosen you and I am God I do as I will, but many will disapprove, child, <laughs> for they are respect of persons, child, <laughs> but you, my scribe, you will write what 
Thus says God. And though child not many will receive the words that come from you though the words are not your own but they are mine but still child they will not receive them though they hear you say these words and they will know child that these words are not yours for you have nothing in you child there is nothing within you you have no authority you have no power you are nothing but it's my desire to use mankind, for you were created for my good pleasure, and I do what I will. Chow, but mankind that walks your land are selfish, and they are rebellious, and they are respect of persons. They lie, they cheat, and they steal, huh? They go after their own kind. They lift up each other. <laughs> and you, child will not be a favorite in their eyes for you are a female scribe <laughs> child I say these things but this is not common unto man for a female do you now understand why mm -hmm. When at the permission of myself, when others spoke into your ears, they too called you a female scribe. <laughs> For you are not what they expected. For when I gave the command, for them to speak into your ears. They knew not whom ears they were speaking into, child. <laughs> oh, but I revealed that thing unto them quickly. <laughs> ah, child, it is not common. Andarabu Shandriya Shundamahanda, not even in days of old, for there to be a female scribe. <laughs> ah, but I am doing a new thing. <laughs> Ooh, and you will not be taken with much favor, but they must to hear you, child. <laughs> it will be a challenge to receive from a female scribe. <laughs> One that hears straight from me. Ah, chow, I speak into the ears of many, and yes, chow, I hear the words that mankind say in your land, for they will say, Thus said the Lord. <laughs> ah, chow, but you will not have to use such words often, chow. For they will hear the words that come from you, and they will be my words into their ears. You will walk in this, and I will be with you every step of the way. I am God. I fear no man. 
and nor should you, child. I speak these words boldly to my scribe, that she fears no man. For I send you, child, as Obudaya, to speak into the ears of the people who walk your land, that they may know of the troubles that come. As Obadiah, I send you, child. And as I was with he, I am with you, child. Think it not strange, child. I am God. As I was. Oh, with those of old, as I was with those from days of old, child, I will be with you. You will tread upon scorpions. Ah, hobashi kadada, and if you should drink any deadly drink, it will not harm you, child. I send you as Obudaya, child, and your words that are mine will not be received lightly, child, for I have no good words for mankind. Ah, child. For you see, child, they know of troubles that come upon their land, but they do not want to hear them. <laughs> Can you believe that, child? They are living a life of lies because they refuse to accept that I am a God of destruction. <laughs> Was it not I <laughs> that destroyed the two great cities? Ooh, was it not I ah, that caused the flood? Mm -hmm. Was it not I that caused the earth to open her mouth and swallow? Oh, but that those who were in the desert was it not I? <laughs> ah, child, I will not to repent for the things that cometh upon your land. <laughs> ah, child, mankind will not receive you with much favor <laughs> female <laughs> but I do a new thing <laughs> ah. <laughs> why you they were asked child ah but it is at my will, child. For mankind was created for my good pleasure. Will you console me <laughs> and inquire of me why I use what is mine? Hmm? Mm, child, do know that you will not be received with much favor. 
But that child is the heart of mankind. And <laughs> I borrow your foolish words when I say that that is neither here or there. <laughs> For I am God. And there is no voice that will follow mine. There is no voice that will follow mine. There is no voice that will follow my child. I am your beginning and your end, child. <laughs> Mankind do know this, that I was there in your beginning. Here these words, mankind, as you listen. <laughs> Hear these words, mankind, as you listen. I was there in your beginning. <laughs> And I will be there in your end. <laughs> I was there in your beginning. And I will be there. In your end. <laughs> ah, mankind. I will not repent for the troubles that cometh upon your land, and my scribe will pin. Every word I will be her eyes. <laughs> uh, and she will write. And the words that she penned will be that of mine. Ah, for I am a loving God. And you see, <laughs> I even have words for those who will be left behind. Though you must endure until your death, you will see death. Those who are left behind, you will see death. My bride will not see death, but you will. You will die. You will die, your children will die, your cattle will die, your parents will be dead, your father's heads will be chopped off, your mothers will be raped and enslaved. I am God. <laughs> And though these words 
or being spoken to your ears, you will not believe. Stiff necked. Stiff necked. You will not yield. <laughs> My time with you, mankind, is exhausted. My time with you has been exhausted. And I will no longer toil back and forth with you. I will not. I have words that I will speak into the ears of my scribe and the female will write. She will write and it will be left. Mm -mm -mm. Mankind will then know. <laughs> oh, mankind will then know who was my bride and who was not. Andado kundana ma shendri o shungundana malanda. Yes, mankind will know who was my bride. I and who was not. There will be no struggles in who now is the wolf in sheep clothing. For the wolf will be exposed and it will walk the land with you. Wolves. You will be surrounded by wolves. Who will dare to continue to speak from the book, the letter, child, the book that you now read in your land, there are but letters left from those of ancient times. Letters they are. Ah, but the letter by itself killeth. It is my spirit that bringeth life, but <laughs> I will have her. <laughs> And you will be left with wolves. Your children will die. Ah, take no offense to the words that come from the female squire, for they or not hers and if it were possible I could speak these very words into your ears but you will not yield <laughs> ah, 
but I have found one in your land. One that I can use in this manner. Men of the land. Hando Hunda, Sindi Hunda, Hando Sunda. Men of the land, I speak into your ears. And I give you a great warning. Touch not my anointed, or I will deal with you. For I know that you will not have much favor towards the female scribe. <laughs> but I caution you. I caution you. I caution you. <laughs> I caution you. I caution you. For the words are not heard. Of you mankind touching anything that I have declared unto you that is mine would be a terrible thing for you. I do not know if you are understanding the words that I am saying to you, man of the land, men. I speak to the men, the male genital man. For I know your hearts, men. Adams. I speak to the Adam of the land, not the Eve. For you see, I know your heart. Adam and I caution you do not touch what is mine <laughs> I, I I don't know if there's more that I should say to you, Adams of the land, men, he of the male genitals, I speak to you, for you are a stiff neck rebellious kind, and you have been from the beginning. I warn you. Ma sandaro shendiri asindiri kolas. Ma sandari o shunda ma handara kundara hata you. Better not. Touch what is mine. Mm. Understand this that I was there 
in your beginning. Mm -hmm. And I will be there in your end. But your end will come quicker if you touch my scribe. Are you understanding what I am saying to you? Adam of the land. Adam of the land. You are a stiff neck one. And I will deal with you greatly if you cross me. Do you know what it is to fall into the hands of this other great God? Do you know what it is to fall into the hands of a great God? <laughs> I have warned you. Touch not my anointed <laughs> or, or I will Kill you, Adams of the land. Those of the male genitals, man, take heed to the words that come from the female scribe, for they are not her own and if you deal wickedly with her I will deal wickedly with you <laughs> from the rising of the sun until the going down of that same sun, the name of the Lord is to be praised from the rising of the sun. Understand what I am saying to you, those that walk the land. You need to understand what I am saying to you from the rising of the sun mm -hmm. until the going down of that same sun. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ is to be praised. Ah, you ought to praise the Lord. Continuously, you are to praise the Lord. Ah, continuously. Ah, my God. From the rising of the sun. Mm -hmm. Ah, I remove the yokes that has been placed on mankind. From your very own leaders, leaders of your land have placed bondages on you, declaring a thing that you are not to praise the Lord, for they have given you a God to praise. And they have placed a yoke on you that you are to praise and acknowledge that God and not me. Ah, but in the name of myself, <laughs> I break the yoke. I break the yoke 
Boshende exercise your liberty in me, for there is yet time standing in your land, and you are to exercise your liberty while time yet stands in his place. For when I call in time from your land, there will be no more time exercise the liberty that you have received. For I am God. <laughs> I speak liberty. I speak yokes removed from the necks of you whose captains and presidents and leaders and chiefs and magistrates have placed yokes and bondages on. I, God, release you. Ooh, I break that chain now. And motion they hear the words that I say unto you and exercise your liberty. There is no one greater than I. Ah, Mosanda, those that are being persecuted in your land for my name's sake, endure a little longer. Those who are being persecuted for my name's sake, Endure a little longer, for I am God, and I see, and I hear all things, and the deeds of those who persecute you will not go unpunished. The deeds of those who have placed the yokes and the blocks on your backs to keep you bent over. Their deeds will not go unpunished. I am a just God. I hear you always. My ears are not closed unto you. Be assured, children, that I hear you. Uh, I hear you when I see you. I hear you when I see you. They will not Go unpunished. Endure. I love you. I love you. Endure, children. Endure did not. My son, endure for you. Did not. My son, endure for you. Mm. 